Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jacob here from JD with Basketball. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Now, today's video isn't going to have any basketball because it is a rest day for me. I get a bunch of questions asking if I'm really 5'7", uh, what's my standing reach, my wingspan. So I thought today I'd actually take a tape measure and we're going to actually measure everything out. Because I get a lot of people asking because they don't believe that I'm actually 5'7", so we're actually going to test it out. I'm actually going to measure myself right here in front of you guys. And like I said, it is a rest day for me, so I'm going to show you guys kind of my routine on my rest days, what I do, how I roll out, how I stretch. Starting tomorrow though on Monday I'm starting a new workout program so I'm trying to get ready for that that's why I'm resting today I'm gonna start jumping more starting next week so I'm really excited for that see so yeah, I'm gonna get my body a rest today I'm gonna show you exactly what I do on a rest day and then I'm gonna measure myself right here alright guys I'm gonna start with the most asked question how tall am I so I'm gonna do two measurements I'm gonna do one barefoot and I'm gonna do one with shoes on so I'm gonna be going against the back wall and just measuring where my head is and then I'm gonna use a tape measure and measure it out Okay guys, just measure with bare feet. Now I'm gonna put on some shoes and we're gonna see them side by side before we take out the tape measure. All right, I thought I'd show you guys the two markings before we actually measure it out. So this is barefoot and this is with shoes on so you guys can see the difference. It's like well over an inch. But yeah, we're gonna measure right now and get you guys the real result. Wow. All right, I hope you guys can see this. So for the first measurement here with bare feet, we have about 5'7", and it's like 3 fourths of the way, so 5'7", and 3 fourths. And then up here, we actually have, it looks like 5'9", almost in the half, so like 5'9 and a half. Okay, sweet guys, so we just recorded our height. We got about 5'7", and 3 fourths without shoes, so I kind of round it to like 5'7", just to make it even. I don't like to put 5'8", because I'm not 5'8". And with the shoes on, I'm about 5'9 and a half, maybe a little bit under. So yeah, I wasn't kidding, guys, when I put 5'7", I actually am 5'7". I don't want to put 5'8", because I'm not 5'8", you know? I, when I put shoes on, I'm obviously taller, but I like to go off my actual height without shoes, and I think a lot of dunkers do. So now, another question I always get is like, what's my standing reach? And this is actually a question that I want to know as well, because I haven't measured it in a long time. If you guys don't know your standing reaches it's pretty much standing just flat-footed and seeing how high you guys can touch and that's actually really important for dunkers because then you can actually calculate like how much you need to touch the rim and even dunk it so I like to look at like the math side of it do the calculations and see like exactly how much vertical I need to jump but yeah like I said I haven't measured this in a long time so we're gonna check it out now and I'm pretty curious to see what it is okay we're gonna do with shoes on first since I already have them on and then we're gonna slip them off and do with bare feet and I'm just gonna stand with my side to the wall best measurement now I am measuring by myself if you guys want it to be more accurate um, obviously get like someone to help you it's still pretty accurate I'm making sure it is because I want to actually know for myself how it is but yeah we're gonna slip off the shoes now we're gonna check out barefoot okay guys we just got the measurements I'm actually really excited to see what it is so let's go check it out okay guys I got it Check it out. All right, guys, I just figured it out. With shoes on, I got about 90 inches here. So that's, uh, what is that? Seven and a half feet. And with the shoes off, I got a little bit under 89 inches, maybe like 88 and three fourths or something like that. So both pretty good standing reaches for my height. So your standing reach is actually really important for dunkers. It helps you kind of calculate the vertical you need to like touch the rim or even to dunk. So like I said, mine is actually 90 inches with uh, shoes on. So that's about seven and a half feet. And if you guys subtract the rim height of a normal like, you know, 10 foot rim, that's 120 inches. So you subtract that 90 and then you get 30 inches. So I need 30 inches to touch the rim. I always love measuring and like actually seeing like how much I need. It's actually really easy when you track it that way. Okay guys, I'm actually really surprised with these results I got. I think the last time I measured my standing reach, it was about 7'4", but I can't remember if I had shoes on or not. So that's about two inches more. Just think about this, makes me really wanna to go to like one of those training facilities where like they actually have like the vert, um, what are they called? They're pretty much like little flags that you touch to test your vert. You keep like removing them each step you go up. I sound really stupid because I don't know the actual name of the thing, but I really wanna test my vertical one time. So hopefully that clears up some questions. I know I get it asked a ton on like all my dunking videos, like how tall are you? What's your standing reach? I always get like DMs all the time on Instagram. So yeah, hopefully you guys all see this video so you know, everyone can be answered at once. But yeah, now I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I stretch and foam roll all these things on my rest days. Okay guys, starting off with the number one thing that I started including is this thing right here. You guys need to get one. It's a foam roller. It's about maybe 20, 30 bucks depending on which one you buy. I know a lot of gyms have these available. 
I don't like using them because anyone can use them and I don't know if they're like sweaty or like I don't know if they actually clean it off after so I bought my own I use it whenever I find the best times to do this are like at nighttime before like a day that you go dunk and sometimes before the session and after the session so I do this quite often I'm trying to add it more sometimes I get a little bit lazy which is not good I want to be more consistent with this thing because you guys can definitely tell the difference between not rolling out and rolling out like there's a huge difference especially jumping I know like whenever I roll out I always feel better like my legs just feel more fresh kind of and then like if I don't roll out after I notice that later my legs get kind of stiff or like they're sore the next day so rolling out after is really important as well on top of rolling out also on like these rest days I like to take a tennis ball and all I do is just plop it on the floor and I roll my foot on it I literally just have it here on the floor and I'm just rolling back and forth I'm using my body weight on it and it actually feels like a freaking foot massage, guys. I definitely recommend trying this out. Sometimes the shoes I wear, they'll get a little bit uncomfortable. I noticed that like I get a bunch of knots here on the side of my foot. So I like to roll out right there. Just doing this feels really good for my feet. And I think it helps me on my rest days because they get pretty tight. All right, and another thing that I do that's really, really important for me on rest days is icing my knee. So I get pretty tired of like holding an ice pack to my knee and just kind of waiting there, like not moving at all. So I actually bought myself one of these. This one you can wrap around your knee and actually like put the ice pack in this little pouch right here. It's real awesome because you just put it on, you can walk around, you can sit, do whatever you need to. And the ice pack that you put in here is actually really cool. You can microwave it as well. So if you guys want to have a heat pack on it, that can work also. I find that it's actually way better than like normal ice packs because this one, when you tighten it, it's gonna be wrapping around your knee and putting like that compression on it. For those other ice packs, you're just kind of like placing it on your knee, it's just sitting there and you're not really doing anything, you can't move. Some people use tape, but like that can hurt taking off, trust me. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely love to ice my knees. Uh, as well as that, I'm not gonna be showing you guys over there, but I like to take ice baths at least once a week now. I don't have one of those like big jacuzzi styles where I can just like sit in it. I actually have to like lay in a tub, a really small tub. But uh, I filled up with cold water, throw some ice in there, and I just sit there. I know that it's freezing when you guys first try it and when you first get in. But like what I recommend doing is just throwing on like maybe some music or like a YouTube video. Something to watch. Something just to distract yourself so you're not like really thinking about the coldness. I sit in the ice bath for about 15 minutes, maybe 20. It kind of depends. And right after my ice bath, I always turn on the hot shower just to kind of get warm again. And uh, it actually feels really great after because you're used to being cold. So turning on that heat feels awesome. So other other than like icing my knee or rolling it out, I just like to wear this thing around or I have another one, I can't really find it right now, but just wearing some kind of knee sleeve, it actually feels really good on my knees. It feels great just walking around, makes it a little bit easier, takes less stress off. So on my rest days, I like to rest my knees a lot. Obviously when I'm jumping a lot, I'm hurting my knees. I feel like the days I rest my knees the most, I jump higher. So resting my knees is really important to me, especially with like jumper's knee. I still have jumper's knee, but doing all these things actually really helps it. Okay guys, I'm moving on to like some final things. I don't have it with me because it's in my car, but it's basically like a rod. It's kind of like a foam roller in a way. It's just a small rod and all you do is like roll it like on your calves or like your quads. It basically feels like the foam roller except it's handheld. You actually do like the rolling on your legs and it actually feels awesome. In my opinion, it actually feels better than the foam roller. You guys can actually use like your own strength and like choose the pressure that you want. And on the actual rod itself, some pieces like stick out. So it's kind of like massaging your leg as you do it. It's not flat like the foam roller. So like I said, I like to use these on my quads, the sides of my legs because those get really bad. And then I also do my calves because those ones feel like really good when I use it. But yeah guys, other than that, just drink a lot of water and sleep and like that's like the perfect rest day. I can't think of anything else that I do. I know some days if my knee is like really bad and I mean like really bad, like maybe I jump like a couple days in a row. Sometimes I will take like pain medicine and that actually really helps a ton. It brings down like the swelling along with the, like the ice. It actually brings it down a lot. So like all the pain goes away. It feels really good. I don't recommend taking medicine, but I only take it on the days that's like really bad and it's just a pain reliever. So as long as you're not taking it like way too much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know there's no basketball in it, but tomorrow's Monday, so we're starting the new uh, workout plan like I mentioned. So I'm gonna try to include more basketball and workout footage this whole week. Also, how do you guys think I did this week? I posted like every single day. I'm actually really happy that I did that. We're still on the road for 5K, so I'm gonna be uploading daily all through November at two o'clock. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss any of my videos. Cause like I said, I'm posting every single day of November and maybe December too. If you guys keep up all these like ratings, I'll probably keep it up through December. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and I'm gonna see you guys in another one. Peace out everybody.